Restoration Through Laughter. I'm your host, Evangelist Delight Bouquet, and y'all, I have an awesome show today. So normally, I always am made up and all of that good stuff, but today we have a treat. We got an awesome makeup artist in the house, Mr. Rashad Robertson. How are you today? Great yourself. I'm doing well. So guys, he's going to be talking about how he got into makeup and how he is actually running his own business doing what he loves. So let's get this homework out of the way. This is WYTV7, and we are so excited that you tuned in. Please go to WYTV7.org and donate. If you saw something or heard something that's inspired your heart, please check us out on Facebook, Restoration Through Laughter, and give us a comment. Let us know what's going on with you. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. So Rashad, could you tell us a little bit about your background and how you started doing makeup? Well, honestly, uh, when I was a kid, my um, I was involved in chorus and all of the other things, you know, uh, extra uh, curricular activities in school uh, involving the arts, uh, whether it was music or drama or whatever. But um, we used to have events where my mom, uh, where parents would come and have to come and show up for stuff like that. And, I was just looking at how all the, you know, the white kids, <laughs> their parents was looking. And I was like, oh my God, they look pretty. And then I was looking at how my mom was dressed. You know, back in the days in the 90s, my mom, right. you know, it was a tomboy thing. Like it was the- uh, The baggier clothes? Yeah, uh, who, the three girls, one of them died, left out. Which oh, group? TLC. TLC, okay. yeah. They, my mom was kind of dressed a little bit like this. <laughs> Big old manly clothes and stuff, and I wanted her in the tighter stuff. So I remember, uh, and I wanted her face to look well. I wanted her hair to look well. So uh, for years, I was just styling her and doing her hair. But one day, I think I was say around 17 years old, 16, 17 is when I first started putting makeup on her. And I thought after I saw the results, I was like, "Wait, she looked good, and I'm doing a good <laughs> job at this." Like, <laughs> yeah. So I was 17, and um, and every time she went to, she started taking pictures and I started doing her, we started taking it a little bit more serious okay. to do her makeup and stuff. So that's how it started. Wow. So as you guys, if you're listening to us, we're in the building with makeup artist Rashad Robinson. And he's sharing just a little bit of how he is doing what he loves, which is makeup and actually making money. God has made provision, as he said he would, for you to do what you love. If you trust him and you just stay in the vein, then God will manifest your destiny and purpose. So we're excited today that he's going to be actually doing some live makeup uh, for, for me today. And so I'm so excited to have him here. And I just want to, uh, before we get started, get some information uh, from him so that you guys can know, you know, where this, inf where this background comes from. So could you tell us a little bit about who inspired you to do makeup? Uh, who inspired me? My mom. <laughs> she wasn't, I, you know, I didn't know any makeup artists then. I was okay. 17. This was in 2000. Seventeen. I was. This was two thousand six. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Long time. He old, y'all. He old. <laughs> uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Wow. So she inspired you to start. I think I, I could be off. I could be off. <laughs> So it's so amazing that your mother, someone who birthed you, someone who gave you life, actually was the inspiration behind you chasing the dream. Yeah. So that's amazing in itself. I didn't know it would be a dream then. Wow. So no was idea. it just something you were doing? I just wanted to make my mom look and feel beautiful. I had no knowledge of makeup. I had no knowledge of what it did for people then. Not at wow. Time. So this show is Restoration Through Laughter. So today, your girl, as you can see, I've washed my face. Um, I just have on moisturizer. So he's going to restore my beauty in just Come a moment. Restoration. He's going to restore. Okay. So how did you get started? Like, did you just do her makeup one day or did you actually, like, how did you get your makeup uh, uh, skill? How did you do that? Uh, I was... Um, 
Mm, how did I get it started? So the story with that is uh, I had just came home from college. Okay. And, um, and I was staying uh, with uh, some cousins of mine. And then um, something ended up happening to where some more cousins of mine ended up going homeless. And so uh, my cousin that moved me in put me out so she could move the other one oh. and that family in oh, wow. to do. Now, <laughs> yeah, it's not a sad story. It was then, of course. But, you know, we I, uh, we can laugh yeah, at we can laugh family. at it now. And, and I'm good with them. You know, there was no beef or no falling out. Uh, I was hurt by it, but I had nowhere to go. So I was homeless. Yeah. And I was also traveling the road uh, singing at the time on tour life everywhere at the time. And nobody knew it, not even my leaders. They knew not that I had no place to stay. Uh -huh. and, um, and I remember I went to this church in Greenville one time. Um, uh, uh, what is the name of that church? Uh, the Hester's, Bishop Hester. Okay, yes. You know that one? Bishop Hester. Yeah, I am. his wife. And uh, they began to prophesy to me at this church. Yeah, they broke me down. <laughs> <laughs> they broke me down. But the first lady, another another lady was like, it's something in your hand. It's wow. something with your hand. Mm. And at that time, I had done makeup, but I wasn't into it like that. They was like, no, use your hand. It's something in your wow. hand. I would never forget that. And they was like, just use your hands. Just it's, it's, it's your hands, your hands, your hands. Um, other gift that I have with my hands and stuff like that. And I remember... Um, Eventually, the Lord uh, led me to just start doing makeup and see if I would make money in it. Wow. So as you heard, he was prophesied to to use his gift. They told him it was something in his hand. So if you're listening to the sound of my voice right now and somebody has told you that God has purposed you for a certain thing, then seek that thing out that it might come to fruition as it done for this gentleman right here. And he's doing makeup all over, y'all. He's traveled doing makeup. He does makeup locally. He pays anonymous in South Carolina and other states. So you that have a dream and that feel like you can't do it, you don't know how to get started, like he said, he just started it to see if it would uh, 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 help him to get financial security because he was going through a trial. But throughout that trial, as he shared with us, nobody knew. So sometimes you have to just trust God in a place that he can move you out of your situation and push you into something greater. And we do have that in common. I've shared on that shows that I've been homeless as well. And it's crazy that when you go through things like that, it's because it's for the making of who you're going to be. What are some things that you have in the works? What's going on with you? How can we get in contact with you? Because I'm going to do this now, y'all. So that way when we get this makeup done, because he's going to be talking the rest of the show. This is pretty much my co-host for today because he's going to be giving us some awesome I'm now I'm going to be out of the country. I did accept that gig. So I sing mm -hmm. as well. So I'm going to be touring uh, in Europe uh, from December all the way to March of next year. So when I get back, we can get back in the road. I always like, it's always the same thing. Uh, like it's just back into work mode, which uh, music is work mode as for me uh, as well. So uh, it never ends until I'm on vacation, which is hardly ever even. <laughs> Well, uh, as you heard it, he's going to be out of the country, so we want them to get our Christmas makeup done, y'all. Oh, but Thanksgiving, you will. So sad, but Thanksgiving, you will. However, um, we're so excited. York. We're so excited for you. I mean, what God is doing and how he's just pushing you and constantly giving you, you know, what you need to be successful and fulfill your purpose. So, y'all, this is something that I do every time. I'm going to do it early. Um, we definitely uh, cannot have a show without inviting God in. So I want to pray for those of you who don't know Christ out there, who don't have a relationship to him, to him, who feel like you've done something so great that you can't get back to God. There's nothing that you can do that can separate you unless you don't call on his name and say that I've sinned and fallen short. So we're going to take that opportunity now to uh, go ahead and pray. So if you would just bow with me, my brother. Dear and gracious Father God, we come to you now, God. God, asking, Lord God, that you will come into our hearts 
God. God, and live there, God. God, but we know that we have sinned and fallen short, God. But God, you said that you died on the cross, that we might have life and have it more abundantly, God. God, you died that we might be reconciled back to you, God. So God, I'm asking right now, God, that you would wash me clean, God. From the crown of my head, Lord God, to the sole of my feet, God. God, even the unknown sin, God, I ask that you erase it, Lord God. God, make me whole, God, that I might be a worthy vessel, God, to do your will. So God, as we stand, Lord God, in the waiting on you to come and Lord God, continue to live in us, God. God, help us to stand upright, but holiness is still the order of the day, God. So we thank you, God, for what you're going to do in, our, uh, in the advance, God. We thank you for everybody, God, that's coming into the fold, into the kingdom on today, God. We thank you for those that gave their life up to you, God, and we know that heaven is rejoicing, so we ask God that you come in silver spray in your blood, amen and amen. So let's give a hand clap for everybody who just gave their life to Christ. We are rejoicing with you right now because heaven has just stopped just for you, so we're so excited that you gave your life. We're going to continue. So this man of God said that he has a voice, and I know because I've heard this voice is dynamic. So I'm going to he does the makeup so um oh hoping that you know you guys enjoy what you hear so we're gonna go ahead and get started he's gonna take over and i'm gonna shut down so listen clearly ladies listen to how you can apply this makeup and restore the beauty that's you all right y'all ready uh oh uh oh okay now i'll just say <laughs> okay can we slide you up some more whatever you need to do i need to hop down Okay. I'm going to hop down and he's going to slide me closer, closer, closer. Y'all see, oh, I'm all up on there. Y'all see the skin. Make sure your skin is washed and clean before you start applying your makeup. Okay. Ooh. All right, y'all. He's getting everything prepared, so he's going to start talking. All right. So y'all not going to get to see much of me. Maybe unless I prop this up a little higher. No, that ain't gonna work, but it's all right. There we go. Well, they saw that beautiful face in the beginning, so he's working now. Work mode. Oh, yeah, y'all. work mode now. Work mode. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is prime her skin. Now, most makeup artists are gonna always ask you, what are you? Like, is your skin uh dry or is it oily what do you suffer with the most okay so your skin would be dry so you need oil yes okay so i need oil y'all so you heard that he said that my skin would be considered dry so i need oil i do have some oily places around the t-zone um here when i wake up in the morning so i'm just giving him a little bit of information so that he can know kind of what um, you said that's where you're oily or? That's why I'm oily, is around my teeth. I'm like okay. right on around the nose and here, um, sometimes this oil thick on the nose. So, so those, are, those are the areas you need to be dry. Right. The other areas, are, uh, are, where are your dry areas? The dry is everywhere except for the teeth. Okay. Yes, yes. So ladies. Which, ladies, you need to know that that is a common area for most, mostly everybody. All the teeth zones are always oily. Okay. So um, for the oily areas, one of the tricks that I learned um, back in the day when I was uh, when I was a young girl and trying to find out about this was before I started doing celebrity makeup. Uh, I took I told a girl to get some knowledge for me uh, on how to get a few things done, and uh, one of the secrets was milk and magnesia. They was using them on celebrities back in the day, and now a lot of people are still using it. But there are different other things. Now I have other things as well to kind of help me. Uh, fight against the oils, oily skin. But as of now, I'm going to get in her T-zone area and dry that up. This is going to also protect the skin. It won't allow the makeup to get inside your pores. And it's going to dry you up and keep you dry all day, even, even for those who like to sleep in their makeup, which I don't suggest. But if you want to sleep in it, if you have to sleep in it, <laughs> then uh, prime your face with that milk of magnesia. Now, don't apply any makeup unto it until it dries white, okay? Wow. So as he's getting something else, I just want to say I might sleep in my makeup so I can be fabulous on Friday, too. 
that far. <laughs> all of my, listen, all of my Thursday clients sleep in their makeup. All of my Friday and Saturday clients sleep in their makeup to Sunday. All of them. It's normal. Now, they don't wear makeup every day. That's the only time I suggest that you can do such is if you don't wear it every day. I'm just going to kind of pat that in there. So if you're listening, because this is um, on Spreaker, and so some of you guys are just listening, he's actually uh, priming everything with the milk of magnesia, and now he's blotting it in to get that to dry. So we try not to have any dry space of talking so that you're just not hearing anything because this is radio and TV. We do both. Yes. And um, some information as he's priming my face. If you don't know, we are uh, actually award winning TV and radio station gospel image awards this year, 2018. So you guys definitely continue to um, support us and go on. Let us know what you're thinking and donate. As I said in the beginning, we can't do this without you. I think this is a nonprofit show out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we are so grateful for our producer who makes sure that everything goes on without a hitch. It's going so that people like this man here's platform can continue to be shown. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you so much. Definitely. Okay. It's a treat for me. Look. This guy is phenomenal. I'm so excited to have my makeup being done by him. I'm using pencil to start off with the brow. Now, today what I'm going to do is go over um, a 20 minute face. However, uh, it could be 15 minutes. Uh, uh, the more you get used to it and stuff like that or uh, uh, whatnot, this is what I call the daily get up face and just run. You know what I'm saying? But I do uh, advise women at least take 20 minutes out on your face, okay? Okay? At least. Uh, and it could, it, it, honestly, what I'm doing today, it could take anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes, as I stated earlier. But, you know, if you like perfection. And that I do. Very, I like perfection, but we only have a certain amount of time. We may run a little bit over today, hopefully not, but um, he's going to, uh, I think, I'm not sure how much time, but we're going we're gonna to get a complete face either way. So um, we're excited about getting this done. And um, those of you who are listening, um, definitely make sure that you catch the visual that will be uploaded on uh, Facebook, YouTube, um, also um, when we get ready to release the uh, taping of this so that you can actually physically see what's being done um, and you can get some great pointers of how to um, enhance your look. And that was the first step. I'm always doing brows first, just kind of reviving them. So he's still working on the brows, y'all. Y'all see, I'm trying not to talk too much because I don't want to mess him up in any way. But like I said, this is a radio show, so we don't want any quiet places. So he's still brushing in the brown, working on the brown, defining the brown. And that's what he's doing now. So if you're watching um, on the video once it airs, you'll be able to see all of the uh, tools that he's using. So how important is it to have the right tools? It's very important. I, I always uh, king for a lot telling the people, listen, whatever you do, always get brushes. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is I don't like for the people to apply makeup without brushes. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Notice even to a set her primer, I had even used a brush to do that. So uh, <laughs> I'm just like, you know, to get the results you want, you're just going to have to do what you need to do, you know? Okay. So, so I always have those brushes out there. Uh, go, uh, you know, and there are cheap brushes. I love the e.l.f. It's coming out with so many brushes. I'm such a fan of e.l.f. brushes. Now, I do have my MAC brushes and my other Morphe, whatever you, you may need, but I do love e.l.f. And for those who are starters, uh, start off with e.l.f. Also, even if you aren't a starter, e.l.f. is good. Uh, for you. You know, it's just a really, really, really great material. It really is. So now, Rashad, yeah. go ahead and bust us out of tune. This is something deep down in your spirit. You, let me tell you something, y'all. It's nothing like a worship experience when you're getting your makeup done. And, you know, I know this guy, whenever he does his own videos, he always breaks out in song. Um, and I follow him and I enjoy watching uh, him applying the makeup because not only do you get 
an awesome knowledge um, of wealth or how to apply your makeup, but you also get a worship experience. So go ahead and let's start something up. Well, you know, I'm always singing uh, because there's music playing in the background for me that I hear and mm-hmm. that I like. So that's what made me sing. I, now, people are always trying to bribe me to make me sing. <laughs> now, now, for both of my arts, I want you to know I get paid for them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I thought, this is a nonprofit. Sometimes we got to give back. <laughs> Y'all, I'm this is restoration. I'm, I'm talking about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Lord. Yeah. But, um, oh, God, I guess, uh, you know, one of the songs that stands strong to me, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Yes, because he loves me. Only Delightful oh, Kay gets this privilege on her show to have makeup and a little bit of a song. We'll sneak it. <laughs> um, it's my testimony song. If it had not been for the Lord. On my side, tell me where would I be? Hallelujah. Where would I be? Mercy. He kept my enemies away. He let the sun shine through a cloudy day. And he robbed me in the cradle of his own. When he knew I had been daunted and scorned. Yeah, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Tell me where would I be? Where would I be? Hallelujah. Y'all heard that. Now, see, I told y'all this man has multiple giftings, and it's such an honor uh, to be a part of experiencing the gifting that God has given him and placed on his life. So, you know, on today, as we continue to do makeup, um, I just thank God for your journey. I thank God for the things that you've been through that have fashioned and made you into the man of God that you are today. And I thank God for your obedience and moving forward. Because some people, even though someone has, uh, you know, prophesied or you had this feeling of, you know what, I need to walk in this direction because that's where God is leading me. Some people don't go. Right. So I'm grateful that this man of God chose to go and to use his gifting. Um, so we're going to continue worshiping. I, ne- I never do this, but I'm going to do this today because this is an out-of-the-box show today, and I'm having a blast, trying to bring some different things to restoration through laughter. Um, so I'm going to sing one of my favorites. Um, I don't sing a lot, um, but I used to sing uh, background for an artist a while back, um, and um song in the crowd my whole life. So this is just one of my favorite songs. And as we're having worship on today and we're talking about a worship experience, um, I want to share my favorite worship song. So it is uh, Safe in His Arms. So just sing a little snippet of it because I can't do too much while he's doing my makeup. <clears throat> because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadows of grass, and he leads me beside the quiet stream. He restores my failing health, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. And I thank you, Jesus, and that's why I'm saved, and that's why I'm safe, and that's why I'm safe, safe, see I'm so safe in his arms. So y'all, it's nothing like what he did, but sometimes when you're going through a storm, that's your song to the Lord. Do you ever feel safe? Like you can just trust him. We talked about the man of God being homeless earlier. 
and going through that trial, something that we both share, um, that we've been through. But God sometimes will allow things to happen for such a time as this. And on today, he's traveling to where? For how long? Tell us again. <laughs> oh. He's traveling. He's going to be traveling. Oh, yes. I'm, go I'm going to New York in, uh, in November. I'll be flying out of New York uh, to Germany in December. And I'll be there until um, March of next year. Wow. So as you can see, God can take your situation and he can definitely restore you. He can restore you to a place that's so awesome that you will just stand in awe of him. And I know that to be true because there's so many awesome things that God is doing uh, for the kingdom and doors. But make sure that that door is a God door. Please, God, the word says not to be anxious for anything. So make sure that the door is a God door. And as today, we're talking about being restored and restoring your beauty. Um, you know, God will restore those things that have been monsters or ugly in your life, those situations that you felt like you couldn't get out of, those situations that you felt like you were trapped in. He can restore those things for you as he's done for this man of God. So we're so excited to have him on the show today. We're so excited that he is definitely moving and shaking in this man's life. So he's doing another step. I'm going to let him tell you what's going on with that. So now I am uh, highlighting her. Or setting her. Some people call it ba uh, baking or cooking. <laughs> because it's where you let the setting powder set in different areas of your face, especially the highlighted areas of your face. Come up to them a little bit. So, yes, it's setting right now. Now, normally after this process here, now what I'm doing on her today, we're not focusing on eyeshadows or lipsticks or anything. We're focusing on skin. So today, we're just teaching you all how to get perfected skin. So you can just get this part done and run out the house and go do what you got to do. So as he said, we're just perfecting how to make you just pretty much glow. You know, sometimes I go a lot of places and people say, oh, your skin is just glowing. So it's very important to make sure that you take care of your skin and that you can uh, continue to uh, do skin care and to make sure that you um, don't just apply makeup as he was saying earlier, because you don't want that stuff all in your pores. So um, have you uh, had any experiences with working with bad skin? Uh, yes, of course. Um, when you have horrible skin, you know, or blemishes and stuff like that, I like to often um, take uh, orange concealers mm -hmm. to cover those blemishes at first. And then I take my foundations or other color concealers and apply them afterwards. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is that a regimen that like if you got uh, blemishes, because I know some of us ladies, we do have those blemishes or those uh, things that, you know, we feel kind of self-conscious about and we apply the makeup, but we do it the wrong way. And you can see, how would you um, apply makeup to someone who has bad acne? Yes, that would be, that, that would be, um, now let me, let me, let me make something clear to you all. Makeup does not make a bump go away. It can't cover a bump. So sometimes you can apply makeup and now the face looks cleaner, but it doesn't, the bump is gonna always be there. So you're gonna have to, you know, keep cleansing that face until you can get the blemishes so the bump's gone. However, they do, they do camouflage the uh, face very well and stuff like that. So to cover uh, a bumpy area uh, that looks dark or have a uh, some type of a skin blemish or, uh, you know, some some sort of whatever may cause the skin to darken or lighten or whatever. Um, you go back to that orange concealer. Now, orange concealer covers the dark areas. Green concealer covers it if it's too bright. If it's like a uh, or red, let me say that. If it's a red, I use my green concealers. Um, if it's yellow uh, blemish, I will use a purple concealer. It's just color blocking. Okay, so you got to kind of know your color wheel, I guess. Then, yeah, you have to know the color wheel, uh, especially if, you know, you're, most cosmetologists, they can tell you this stuff or, or you know, or licensed um, 
that's the picture. Okay. So you're getting some great knowledge here. Um, as, as some of us have, I have some palettes that have the green and different colors. And truth be told, y'all, let me tell you, I had no idea what to do with that stuff. So it just sits there. Um, I never use it. So now I'm learning how I can use it appropriately if I need to. Um, he's also told us about how important it is to apply your makeup with brushes. Um, we talked about e.l.f. being a good brand. I love e.l.f. i got a lot of e.l.f. makeup. I do have some MAC and some other ones, too. The e.l.f. is really, really uh, stepped their game up. This area here is called contouring. Now, contouring is always going to allow the face to appear smaller than it, what it really is. Um, drag queens made this process very, 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 very popular. Uh, Kim Kardashian made this process very, even more popular. Uh, people uh, that want that come to get their face done more often, they be like, contour me. I want to look small. I want my nose smaller. I want my <laughs> cheek smaller. And stuff like that. So it's around the perimeter of the hair and the edges, uh, and then it goes from uh, the ear. And normally, sometimes you can bring it to the lip, depending on the shape or size of the face. Yeah. Wow. So, so yeah, that's contouring, and it has a little blush in it as well. But I'm going to take my blush palette and give a little bit more blush to her face right now in this area on the cheeks. You know, they always want to um, blush those cheeks up. People are afraid of blushes, but it's okay <laughs> to use blush. You have to use it lightly. This blush here, you have to kind of rub into it a little bit to get to get the results. So I can kind of dig at this about seven times. Some blushes, you have to dig at it very lightly one time, or it will do a uh, it got a stream them out of blush. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. You don't want like a, a clown with the rose. Yeah, we don't want the Ronald McDonald effect. <laughs> no wrong McDonald. No wrong McDonald. So as you he's continuing the makeup. You guys, we're so excited. I want to let you know this is WYTV7. We're in the building with Mr. Mr. Makeup Artist Y'all. Rashad Robertson. So I'm telling you, I'm so excited to have him giving us some corners on today of how to restore our beauty. Um, and also, he shared with us some intimate details of how he got to be where he is today. So if you have a dream, chase after that dream with everything you have and keep God first at the forefront that it may be prosperous. Because sometimes we can have a dream, but we go through doors that are not necessarily God doors. I say God doors a lot because there's sometimes that people offer you to do stuff and you're so anxious to get in the limelight or to do it that you go through the wrong door. And every door is not for you. Even though it may be an opportunity presented, but every opportunity is not meant for you to go um, to take. So you have to be very careful um, of what you're doing in your uh, process of getting uh, toward your purpose. So today, um, again, he's actually just doing a little bit more of uh, stuff to my face. He's going to tell you what's coming up next. So now I'm just giving her skin a natural glow back. So this is called highlighting with a highlighter. The first one that I used to highlight on her was, um, yes, was by MAC. You see that glow? You see there, right up top there. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful, y'all. I'm looking beautiful. It's getting me to get out the book. <laughs> so, now, uh, this is just kind of, for me, I love it and enjoy it because it gives that natural skin glow back to the skin. It doesn't look so powdery because you have to set your makeup with powder. Do not just put on liquids and then run out the house. Set your face so the makeup can set and not run off of your face, okay? Now, I just learned that because I usually just do the makeup. I did. I, yeah. I put a little bit of powder, but I don't set it with the powder. Right. So he's telling us, ladies, to once you've got your liquid makeup and all that, then set it with the powder so that you don't have that run, runny look right. like I did on the red carpet when we were together. We were actually at an event together last Friday, yes. and it was amazing. Um, and he actually sang, y'all, sang, not sang, but sang. So let me tell you, it was really um, awesome uh, to be on the red carpet with him. And we interviewed on the red carpet. Um, and I had that look of runny because I didn't set my makeup. And it was extremely hot. The red carpet was set up outside. Yes, so. very hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. That's when you use that milk of magnesia and everything. When you mm -hmm. doing stuff like that, 
So now I know to go ahead out today and get me some milk magnesia and to make sure that I use my powder a little bit more proactively. So I'm not running. I'm just gonna come up to the screen a little bit so you can see a little bit more of him just kind of getting that makeup in there. Mm -hmm. My husband's gonna be excited yes. when he sees this face. He's making me that beautiful, guys. I know I started out and my face was all, I mean, it had a glow to it, but it was just, it was just plain Jane, which I'm really not. <laughs> I love makeup. Okay. This area here is contouring. Again, people say I want my nose to look smaller. People always do it. It's natural for me now to just go ahead and Go ahead and contour that nose. I didn't do a huge contour there, but it was just a little small difference. And I definitely need that. It's the running joke in my house that I can smell everything from web because my nose is so big. My oh, husband, wow. We pick on each other like that, y'all. It's all love. It's because like I pick on his head and I'll tell y'all a little joke. I normally uh tell him, I'll say, baby, you know, have you ever put your hand on your the bottom of your chin and you're just resting your head? And so I'll say, oh, no, babe. Be careful now, because you already got enough pressure on that head. Your neck don't make it suffer, too. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> we got a running joke that we always do uh, back and forth, but it's all love. We've been together a very long time, 18 years. So um, it's all love in the Goldsmith house. But um, back to it, y'all. We're about to do some more stuff. Go ahead and tell us, y'all. Yeah, so this part right here, ladies, is uh, one of my new things that I'm always uh, encouraging people to do. Always, always, always put you some mascara on those bottom lashes. Just look Ooh. up. This is what happened. It's my worst part. It's child. okay. So you look up and you find a flaw in the feeling okay. and you stare at it until I'm finished. Uh, you got it? You found one? Uh, I'm like a newborn with this, y'all. This okay. my, my worst part is messing in my eye. Okay, okay, I'm trying. I got my point. I got my point. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to hold it down. Good. Very good. You see that? When you focus on something other than what I'm doing, Ooh. it helps you out a lot. Perfect. Perfect. You get real good. Oh, God. Ladies, always put mascara Ooh. on those bottom lashes. Ooh. It's going to wake up that eye, okay? Always put eyeliner on that waterline as well. So I'm going to go up here and do the top. Give her lashes some light. But she already has long, beautiful, natural lashes. So we don't even have to put any on her. Also, this is going to save time that we don't have to put lashes on her. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Save a little bit of money, too. Oh, yeah. Everything so it's hard for me to talk when someone's messing in my eye, y'all. So it's sorry okay. for the quiet moments, but it's hard for me to talk. And I get nervous because I wear glasses to see, so I don't need anything else. Oh, yeah, I can see the difference. You see that little bit of that pop there? Yeah, I hope you guys can see. You see that pops that eye? It's awesome. Great, great, great. Now I'm going to keep messing around this eye a little bit more just to kind of build. Make the eyelashes look a little false. Sometimes you want people to say, "Oh, these false lashes, yeah, that's so cool. these are nice." <laughs> these are the nice. brag, right? These are nice. It's just like asking a woman, "Is that your real hair?" She's like, oh. <laughs> no, I'm the same man. <laughs> yeah, but I paid for it, so it's mine. Now I know that's right. Yeah, so look up again for me. Even after the lashes have dried, I'm going to go back and stack them some more. Give them some more life. She's doing much better now. Y'all see that? She's learned to focus on something else. Whew. That is the hardest part for me, y'all. Oh, my gosh. As and you see, I shut well. down, right? I get quiet every time somebody mess in my eyes. She I just very can't. well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very well. All right. Yeah, so this part, I'm just kind of going back up on there, feeling in there. I get, the last part is the lips. Because actually, I've been done with her face. So the last part is the lips right here. And then um, I would you like, which color would you like? I'm going to let her pick a, her own lip today. Oh, I like that. Okay. So 
So y'all, we got the color on and you see it is beautiful. I hope y'all can see it. I'm gonna come in close a little bit. Rashad, what color is that? This is 60 by, by Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Wow. Yeah, Superstay. Uh, they're very popular now. Uh, and I'm going to apply one more uh, lid on there because I love it. It is a little chalky, uh, but I love the stay of it. Also, um, it's really weird how uh, chalky lips are in now. So you kind of want the little chalky look a little bit. It helps if your lips are a little bit dry already. I'm just yeah. playing. <laughs> uh, okay, so beautiful. Okay. Now I'm gonna give her ombre matte lip. So I'm gonna mix a little color in there as well. Okay. But um, just around her edges, the edges of her lips, right up and through here. Make sure you're lining that lip very carefully. Okay. I do not use black to line the lips. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's, it is from the 90s. <laughs> it is definitely from the 90s. And today, uh, we are almost 20 years out of the 90s. <laughs> so I need y'all to come on up to the time. All right. Wow. Anytime you're lining the lip, what you need to do is use... Um, it browns, purples, blues, anything to line that lip with and give a different uh, volume of a lip. Um, you never want to kind of use uh, black. You never want to use black, okay? Never want to use black. Repeat after me and say, never want to use black. Say it. Never, ever want to use black. For those of you out there who are still with the black around your lips, sugar, take it off right now and go ahead out there and get you right. some other colors. Look at that. It's going to be a beautiful blend when I finish it. Mm, I can't wait. And y'all, I'm feeling so beautiful already. So as we were talking about restoring. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. She coming back. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So as we were talking about restoring, he was doing my lips. So, of course, I couldn't talk during that time. Um, as you can see, he's already restored this face to its splendor. So, um, the blending. Okay. And what's this there? This is the, uh, this is the same lip I put on first. Okay. So you just blend it so you can, yeah. So we go back in there just to kind of blend a little bit more is what he's doing. It's just reapplying a little bit more. Oh, it's pretty. I can't wait. So. Still blending. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I'm just going to come in close so you guys can see a little bit closer to the face here. And look at that lip. I'm just showing you that lip is fabulous. Fabulous. So I have to sleep on my pillow tonight and make sure that I don't turn my face which away. So I need to go and buy me some type of apparatus. I'm just getting back up in the chair. Some something. And he's showing me now, y'all. Let's see. For the reveal. Oh, wow. And y'all, this is an everyday look. And I look like I'm about to hit the red carpet. This is something, honestly, it, it honestly doesn't take but 15 minutes to do. Wow. Literally. Wow. Now, although because I'm teaching and I'm talking, it took me about 25 probably mm. to do this is amazing. Y'all, I have had an awesome time having this man on my show, this awesome man of God. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Again, this is Mr. 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 Makeup King himself, y'all, Rashad Robinson. And we are so excited. We're going to come in close so that you Ooh. can see. Look at that fabulous sugar. Fabulous. Y'all see it? So 
Tell them one more time how they can email you to get you to come to their city to get their makeup. Facebook of Rashad Roberson, uh, R-A-S-H-A-D-R-O-B-E-R-S-O-N, or you could do Rash Roberson Rashad 29 at gmail.com. All right, y'all. This has been an awesome show. Thanks for tuning in to Restoration Through Laughter. I'm your host, Delight. Hey, okay, check us out on uh, WYTV7.org to donate. And also hit us up on Facebook and tell us how you enjoyed the show today. As always, be blessed. Restore your life through laughter.